Welcome to Behind the Scenes at Innovative Language Learning. I'm Jessie, one of the hosts at JapanesePod101.com, and today I'll be telling you a little bit about the company. Keep watching to find out how you can get your questions answered in part two of our Behind the Scenes project. Let's start from the very beginning. In 2005, Peter Galante started JapanesePod101.com with a couple of friends, some publishing software, and a passion for teaching language. The goal was to create and deliver fast, fun, and effective Japanese language lessons for free via podcast. Now remember, back in 2005, podcasting was a revolutionary new technology. But after a lot of trial and error, JapanesePod101.com took off. The response was huge, and the demand for new features and languages came in. Now, five years later, innovative language learning is much more than just JapanesePod101.com. We now have sites for 16 different languages, that's 8,000 language lessons and counting. There's the super popular survivalphrases.com geared towards world travelers. Over 300 iPhone and iPad apps are ready for download in the Apple iTunes store and language learning CDs and DVDs are ready to ship. Thanks to our loyal listeners and publications like Newsweek, PC Magazine, and the New York Times, we were able to reach 101 million lesson downloads in 2010. A huge milestone for us considering we started with one guy at one desk. But of course, we're always working on something new. New languages, new series, and more. There's more to the story, but we can't forget about the listeners, our center of support for the past five years. We get asked a lot of questions about our company, from everything about the hosts to how we make our lessons. In our next news lesson, we'll be answering your questions directly. So if you have a question about innovative language learning, leave it in the comment section of this news lesson. I'll be answering your questions next time with a very special guest. Thanks for watching! Leave us your comment by October 24th, and we'll see you in two weeks.